uh, Britt was missing uh, the first morning and even the second morning uh, to the Australian consulate in Zagreb. And we found out, on, this was about the 18th and the 19th, that two reports were handed in to the Australian consulate. And then on the 24th of September, we received a call from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade advising us that they had received a, a advice that our daughter was missing. Now, surely, once, the Australia, once a Australian consulate in any country receives a... Um, a suggestion that an Australian citizen is missing, why can't they call the family, the parents, and say, you know... Uh, I think the embarrassing thing about this was that there were two backpackers that desperately tried to find Brit's contact information on December 19th. They went through her backpack in fine detail, because Brit kept all receipts. They went through everything. They could not find her mobile phone. It wasn't with her backpack. Later it was. The Australian consul consulate was notified on September 19th. They acknowledged immediately it was a very serious matter. Her belongings were there, her passport was there. But because of the Privacy Act, they could not break the law and inform us. I can't imagine how frustrating that, that, that must have been for you. Uh, we have Family First, Senator That's Steve right. Fielding, with yes. us in the audience. And I, I, Senator Fielding, you're campaigning to change this, aren't you? Yeah, look, uh, we can't uh, bring Brit back, but uh, you know, one tragedy, we could actually save another one. No other family should go through what you had to go through. And uh, we need to bring about change, and the only way to do that is through law. And uh, this crazy situation where you can't notify next of kin when someone's missing because of privacy needs to change. And so, like Dale and Elke, I want to change the law. And we've got a petition going at www.stevefilling.com.au, and I implore everybody to go there. We need to take the politics out of this. We need to get uh, the prime minister minister, the opposition leader. We need to get everybody behind changing the law so that next of kin can be contacted straight away. More support given up front. They've had great support after about three weeks, but those first few weeks they were left on their own and no other Australian should be left on their own. And why don't we be more proactive and set up bilateral agreements with other countries on missing persons when they go, into, you know, when they go missing? Have you had any indication from um, fellow politicians on, on what's, what stand? Are you going to get bipartisan support on this? I can't see anyone being against it, but we just need to make sure because frankly what happens is everybody just seems to sweep these things under the carpet. We need change and we need Australian people going there with a petition. All right, Senator Fielding, thank you for that. Ross, what's the role for Australian police here? It's a tricky one because they can't tell the Croatian police how to investigate. Mm. Um, I'm sure that they would have concerns at the failures that we're highlighting here tonight. I mean, really, somebody should have done a forensic sketch. Uh, somebody should have shown Amber the type of van and said, is this the van? Well, the fear on, on, on yeah. the girls' faces when oh, they were looking at the identity oh, photo and that van was palpable. Up my spine. Yeah. palpable. It sent a shiver up my spine when she did that because it was a shock to us. Have, have you passed the information that you've gleaned on we've, to Australian police? We've spoken to the Federal Police and they're very happy to take what we've got. Uh, we'll be passing it to them, uh, well, if not yet soon. Uh, and they're very, very interested to get hold of it, and they're assuring us that they will get it investigated. One of the issues is, because of the way in which the Croatian police behaved towards these young women, mm. some of them don't want to talk to the Croatian police. Mm. They're very distrustful. They, they don't want their personal details being given to the Dubrovnik authorities. Well, they'd be afraid. Sure. They'd be scared. Uh, there has been some interest, though, in, in your investigation in Croatia, hasn't there? Huge, yeah. Uh, in fact, I checked my phone just now, and there's... Uh, innumerable messages from Croatian journalists demanding to know why we're there, um, well, not responding to their, their questions, asking why we're saying nasty things about their country. And one of the things I do want to emphasise is um, there has been an enormous outpouring of goodwill from Croatian citizens. Mm. Uh, well, they'd be just horrified. As Australians, a crime would be, would be happening in, yeah. in a city and or a They town. want the answers as much as we do, mm. and they've got an equally dim view of aspects of their police force. Mm. And I can tell you that in Croatia, there will be questions asked. People well, won't put up with this. They're watching this uh, via web stream from Croatia now, which is the, the wonder of new technology, which is terrific. So it, it may well see something happening in that department. But, uh, Ross, you've been covering this story for, for many months now. What, what needs to happen for Dale and Elka now? I think they need an assurance that these and other issues will be properly investigated. 
uh, it's time for the Dubrovnik police to just take seriously, and they're not at the moment, the possibility, the possibility that local men are involved, that something terrible happened where Brit was enticed, perhaps by men posing as police, to go with them. Because it doesn't make sense that she would have left the nightclub in the company of strangers unless she felt confident doing so. It has been many months, though, that various people, in including you, have been trying to persuade them to take this seriously. Yes. What's going to get them across the line? Well, their, their greatest fear is their tourism industry, mm. and especially the season is about to start. They still have this Titoistic view on life. Push the propaganda. Dubrovnik is a safe place. You talk to people in Dubrovnik, they'll tell you Dubrovnik is a safe place because they've got no idea. That's just the political line. It's the political line the police are pushing. Dubrovnik is a safe place. Many people in Dubrovnik will be horrified by these stories tonight. They don't understand. They're destroying their own tourism industry by not looking after the very people that they should be looking after. That's their customer, the mm. tourists. Mm. One million tourists a year. They're going to be facing an economic downturn. Now they're going to be facing where any young woman that travels to Dubrovnik is out of her mind mm. until the Croatian police force get in and take this case seriously and other cases yeah. seriously. Yeah. We've had part one and, and part two of our investigation. I have a feeling there's going to be part three, Ross. And you know what? There are parents in Dubrovnik too, and I'm sure that they would be feeling the similar sort of emotions that you are if one of their children went missing in, in Australia. And can I just also mention all of the... Uh, the girls, the young, the young women that Ross interviewed as well as Brit, they're all blonde yeah. or slender. Brit was targeted that night. Mm. You can tell me what you like. Mm. Yeah. And um, really, if, if we've got the uh, Dubrovnik police, the Croatian authorities uh, watching this program now, I appeal to parents to the Croatian parents, put yourself in our situation, would you be happy with this investigation? I assure you, you would not be happy with this investigation. Yeah, if it was their child, I would like to see them sit back and say, oh yeah, it doesn't matter, Dubrovnik police don't care, yeah, it's okay, just another life to dispense with. And I I will, we will fight this until the very end, till our last breath on this earth. And I'm sure there are plenty of parents across Australia who would agree with you. Dale and Elka Lapform, thank you very much for your time this evening. Ross Coulthart, thank you, and uh, we look forward